welcome to the Note to Self podcast. I'm your host, Zoe Ariel, an adventurous entrepreneur who loves to make the most out of life. I'm a certified professional life coach, digital course creator, verified YouTuber, and published author. On this podcast, you can expect actionable tips, reflections, and inspiration to live your best, most fulfilling life. So let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to Note to Self. Today's Note to Self is another pattern alert. So this is where I share with you different patterns that I'm uncovering within my own life to help ignite awarenesses within your life. So a pattern that's recently come to the surface for me in my life in the past few months has been this pattern of being a little bit of a hermit or getting myself into these spaces where I'm energetically closing myself off from opportunities or even my goals and intentions that I've been working on aligning myself with. So this example is actually comes from uh, what I've recently shared about moving into my dream villa and then moving out. So when I came back from India, I moved into my dream villa, it was amazing. And what I found was that I was so comfortable, I was so much in my comfort zone in that villa that I wasn't leaving very much. I wasn't leaving the house very much and there was a couple of reasons for that. One is that the energy outside felt very touristic and chaotic and I just felt really comfortable. Two is that the home was just everything that I needed so I was just staying there. And slowly but surely I found myself in my comfort zone and what I had been working with specifically with my coaches my my breathwork coach my life coach and my kinesiologist has been opening up and aligning myself with the relationship that I desire to have in my life so a romantic partnership and I'm definitely going to be sharing more about this and what I'm learning about this journey in some future episodes coming up because there's lots of really great exercises and story times to share with you as I open up my heart in this way and expand my realm of possibilities for myself. So what I found was that when I am comfortable and cozy inside in my home environment, I hadn't been pushing myself to expand and be out there in the world. And when I was operating in that way, in that pattern, right? This subconscious pattern of being a little bit of a hermit. What happens for me is I start to activate work mode and I can find myself getting into these past ways of being that are unserving that is workaholism. It is and it has been an addiction for me in my life to work and I was really able to see it so clearly where I was working with all my coaches and practitioners to access this next level of being out there in the world, of being ready and willing to be seen for myself and to bloom and blossom in that way. But my addiction of working and finding safety and finding comfort in that was then taking over or taking control in ways that again was very subconscious. It wasn't something that I picked up on right away, But as I looked back in time, I was like, wow, I've actually been mostly at home working for the past few weeks and it's been fun and it's been exciting, but I haven't been fully living my life. And so when that fully came into awareness, and as you know, I I moved, I shared that as well, but I realized, okay, when I move, I, you know, my realtor came in, she told me, Zoe, you're going to have to move. And I had two weeks to find another place and I could have felt all types of overwhelm around it, but my soul in that moment felt very much at ease and excited because this was my opportunity to move to the place in Bali that I've desired to live for a very long time, which is Uluwatu, which has this beautiful cleansing, spacious energy. And what I did for myself was when looking at places to move, I popped on Airbnb because I knew, okay, what I'm going to do, I want to get a place for at least a month. And then while I'm there, I'll look for a longer term villa to stay in. And I first started looking at expansive, beautiful, luxurious villas because that's something that I just I just love. Expansion codes, luxury codes. And I recognized, you know what? If I get myself into a super cozy, beautiful villa, I'm not going to leave. And moving to a new environment, moving to a new 
place geographically gives me the opportunity to release the things that have no longer served me in this environment and step into completely new ways of being. So what I did was I tuned into my body. I'm like, what does my body need? Okay, well, my body has not felt safe in this chaotic environment. My body is desiring nature. It's desiring spaciousness in my surroundings. And I want to get out there in the world and bloom and blossom and meet new people and have experiences and just live my life. That was also in relation to what I recently shared about deleting my Instagram is that I really just started living my life to a new level. And that's what I I was craving. That's what my soul was craving. That's what my body was craving. So I booked myself into a little cabin Airbnb, this beautiful little cabin near the beach in the jungle that has a lawn, that has a garden, very, very small. But I wanted to go back to the simplicity. I desire to go back to the basics. And in getting myself this small, beautiful cabin, which I'm sitting in right now, recording for you guys, and also it just started to rain outside, so I hope that it's not too loud. (laughs) But I've been able to just focus on healing my nervous system, being in nature, minimizing and simplifying my life even more. I know that this sounds simple, but simplicity is always bliss. And when I come back to this place of always honoring the body, letting the body lead the way and allowing myself to really tune in and ask like, what do I need in this moment? I was able to be granted with even more lessons and awarenesses than I even knew possible. And that's because I decided I am going to pattern interrupt myself by not choosing what I've always consistently been choosing and choose something different for a short period of time very intentionally. And that was, again, not choosing the comfort zone of getting another villa where I won't leave, where I've got an at-home office space and all that's going down. It was, you know what, I'm going to get myself a small little cabin in nature where I'm going to have to really simplify my life, where I'm going to have to go out to eat my meals, where I'm going to not order takeout and I'm going to be out there having experiences. I'm moving into a new place and I want to enter into that place with an expanded energetic precedent and an expanded comfort zone. And I've learned so, so much from making this decision for myself of deciding I have the power to pattern interrupt myself at any moment and what could an experiment be or what could a decision be that would allow me to interrupt this pattern that I'm so ready to ditch because it does not align with my abundant future. And that pattern was being a hermit, being comfortable at home, hiding in my work, hiding in what felt strong and safe to me. So, As always, I hoped that this episode sparked something in you guys. And if you haven't yet opted in to my free two-day workshop, which is Discover Your Best Selling Stories, you can do so in the link below. If you can't make it live, the replays are there. And I can't wait to just hear about all of the abundant wisdom that's within you to share with this world. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thanks for listening to Note to Self. If you enjoyed this episode, please help me out by rating and reviewing this show on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. If my energy is resonating with you and you feel the call to work with me, there are an abundance of ways to do so. I offer one-to-one life coaching programs, mastermind containers, and DIY courses, all of which are available through my website, zoeariel.co. Until next time, take note of all the abundance that surrounds you as you make the most of this game called life.